Hi, I'm Mark Reagan, and I'm talking about key signatures and sharps and flats as we use them in key signatures. When it comes to reading a hymn or a psalm, identifying a key is not necessarily the, the main thing that you want to do, but trying to figure out how a tune actually sounds is the more important thing, particularly how it starts and then how it ends. Everything else in between, we hope, will fall into place. So as I'm talking about key signatures and introducing the concept, uh, I'm going to use solfege uh, to, to help with that. So in the last video, I was singing Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Do. This is Julie Andrews style. Just using, these, using pitches and, and then assigning these, these syllables. Well, these are just drawn from the key and, and ultimately drawn from a scale. When we're talking about key signatures, again, we're talking about a cluster of sharps and flats. All right, so in this one, bass clef with a cluster of sharps after it. Those three notes are sharped, you might say, whereas these four pitches are flatted. If I can use that as a verb, flatted. So how do we understand this? Well, I've, I've come up with a, a, a simple little rhyme. It's a stupid little rhyme, but it, 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 um, it's helpful for remembering these things. Oh, and before I introduce the rhyme, I should, I should also mention that the system that I tend to use is when we're talking about major keys, we're really concerned with where Do is. And when we're talking about minor keys, we're concerned with where La is. And not everyone agrees on, on, on that particular thing, but I think it's, it's a pretty consistent system. So we're gonna use it. So Do is concerned with major keys and La is concerned with minor keys. All right, so here's the rhyme. To find out the Do, La, or name of the key, the last flat is Fa and the last sharp is T. All right, so we're just going to use that guiding principle to read key signatures. So I'll go to my example here. So if we have a key signature of four flats, reading from left to right, just as we do reading words, left to right, the last flat is here, and that is fa. All right, so then to find out do major or la minor, we just have to go accordingly. So do, re, mi, fa, sol, la. So our la would be the top line. Fa, sol, la. Sol is on a space. Fa, sol, la. And then to find do, we sort of run out of room. So I, I'm going to go the other direction. Fa, mi, re, do. So do, do is actually already flatted. It's uh, the flat is claimed Do here already. All right, so Do is here, La is here, and of course this one is Fa. If we go to sharps, and we'll go to the other clef, and I'm, I'm, using, I'm using both clefs so you can see that the this this system works in both cases. The last sharp is T, which is this one, which means that Do is here, right above. So, T occupies a space, Do occupies a line, and La also occupies a line right below it. T, Do, T, La. All right, so to find out the Do, La, or name of the key, the last flat is Fa, the last sharp is T. And then when we can identify where, our, where Do or La is, then we can, uh, Hopefully, we can navigate the piece a little bit. All right, so let's look at this example here. All right. I'm playing this, I'm playing the, the, this, this chord a little prematurely because actually we don't, we don't know anything about this yet. All we know is that this is what? Yes, it's a flat and it's what? Fa, right, based on, the, based on the, the definition. So here's our fa here. All right, so this would sound like this. 
regardless of regardless of whatever thing else is, I notice that this is just kind of moving around in a stepwise fashion. It goes up a step, down a step, up a step, up a step, up a step. So, do. Do, back to do again, right? And that's one way of checking, actually. So I have a do here, I have a do here, right? Fa is not the key, right? Fa is only the key signature. Do, re, do. There's another one. I come right back to it. Re, mi, fa, mi, re, do. So having that sense of, of knowing where those do's are actually grounds the, the piece, gives me some, uh, some focal points or some, you, you, you might say some, uh, some anchor points in the, in the line. All right, so that's the beginning of Jesus, what a friend for sinners. Jesus, what a friend for sinners. All right, at the end of the song, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, here we're gonna look, we're in a major key because do is, do is really what it's all about. But right here, uh, we have our la. How do I know that that's actually true? All right, so going back to our key signature, key signature is uh, last flat is fa. It's the only flat we have, right? And it's saying that all these pitches along this line are fa, all right? And we have we have several of them in just the little example. So we have we have the the key signature itself is fa. This is fa, and this is fa, right there. All right, so if this is fa. What's above it? Fa. Sol, la. All right, so there's where there's where a la is. So if we had this particular key signature, we, we don't know. You see the tune on the page, you say, well, I don't know if it's major or minor. All right, well, spend some time with it and see if you can figure it out. If it starts on do, I said do identifies major keys. So if it starts on do, there's a good chance that it is in a major key. If it doesn't start on do, then it might be in a in a minor key. I'm just using this as an example to identify where la is because sometimes we'll have to find la. So la is two steps above where our fa is. So we have sol, sol, la, sol, fa, mi, re, do is how that would go. So that's an example of a flat key signature. Now, if we're looking at another hymn, I'm going to use this signature, and I'm also going to use the treble clef, although I don't, I don't have to. So the treble clef, we'll use a signature of two sharps. To find out the do, la, or name of the key, the last flat is fa, and the last sharp is, what did I say? T. So here's our T. Last, last sharp is T. All right. To find do or la, it's just a matter of going one, one, way or another. So if we're going up from T, this would be Do here, and one down from it would be La. All right. As an example tune, we've been this key, and I'm just going to use a major key again. So we have T, Do, so, so, la, mi, fa, re, re, do, do. This tune, holy, 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 actually works really well, at least in that particular phrase. When we get to the last phrase of the song, it works really great with the key signature because the note that we have on God in three persons is that one. God in three persons, blessed Trinity. To mix it up, we're going to end up here, and there's going to be a, a whole lot of stuff in between, but that's also do. It's going to be in a lower register. So we have do in three persons, blessed Trinity. So we have two do's. A high do and a low do, right? So we're not only concerned with with finding do or la in one place, but sometimes we have to um, actually move it around a little bit. All right. So this video introduces the concept of of the the key signature and how we can use that in in music.
the hope is that once you get the once you get that song started and you read all the way through it if you started and ended in a in the same place like holy 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 god in three persons blessed trinity holy 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 right then we ended up actually where where we started right and that's and that's uh that shows that we have had some uh had a successful time reading the key signature all the way through 